Hello, Phil Thatch here, and today I'm going to be talking about an opportunity I had to photograph some high school baseball. And I used my Nikon Z6 and the FTZ adapter and my old 24 to 70 f2.8 VR2. This wonderful lens is not the current version of the F mount 70 to 200 f2.8. They have a newer version of it, but it's one version back and this is a fantastic lens um, there's the lens cap for it you can see some you can see the wear on this lens cap i've actually replaced this piece of rubber for the zoom i, have, I made a video about it um, so i've had the lens for years and it's a great lens and uh, i don't see myself replacing it with the uh with the z mount 70 to 200 2.8 when it comes out because this lens is so great and it works so well with the FTZ but uh, let me show you um, the photos and the settings that I used to shoot some high school baseball in the rain I used continuous high extended for my release mode which is the fastest way to shoot with a Z6 the focus mode I used was wide area small. Uh, I was having to shoot through uh, kind of a net and it seemed like dynamic area and single point were more likely to catch the net instead of the action on the field than wide area small. I also used uh, wide area large a little bit but it seemed to not do as well. Um, so wide area small is what worked for me but I recommend that you try um, several different modes and see what works best for you. So let's go to Lightroom now and see how these rainy baseball pictures turned out. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom looking at the baseball photographs. And uh, these are the 45 that I liked enough to share with the school. Uh, like I say, we only were there for a couple of innings. I was actually using automatic ISO, which is uh, not my normal way of shooting. I was shooting manual, uh, but I was using automatic ISO and letting it meter, letting the camera meter and, and adjust the ISO for me. Uh, and this first shot, I, I, I failed to even set the, uh, it's, I'm using a 2.8 lens and I had it at F4. So I was kind of getting my bearings, but I like this picture enough to publish, even though it wasn't at 2.8. And at 122 millimeters and 1 1250th of a second, the meter and automatic ISO drove it to 4500 ISO. Here's another shot. By this time, I had figured out that 2.8 was the way to go. I was 190 millimeters, ISO 3200, and I dropped the shutter speed down to 1 1000th. Uh, let's look and develop and see. Yeah, that I was shooting vertical on that shot. For sure. This young man is also in, in both of my basketball videos. He was number 10 in the basketball videos. And here he is. I think he's being walked in. I'm shooting through. Uh, uh, it's not a chain link fence. Just kind of a net. And you can see the net pretty well in this photo, but a lot of them you can't see it at all. The wider your aperture, the less likely you are to, to see a fence if you're shooting through one. And of course I'm shooting at 2.8. And I think, and this one's 70 millimeters, I think maybe the greater your, your uh, focal length, the, um, the less likely you are to see the net. Like this one's 200 millimeters and you can't see the net at all, but I am shooting through it. Um, I think baseball, you know, I, I, I've done some volleyball and some tennis and some basketball. Uh, I do soccer, but I think baseball may be about the hardest. I mean, it's easy to shoot batters like this. It's hard to get the ball right on the bat, even at nine or 10 frames a second. Um, but it's, you know, catching action out in the field is tough because you got that fence to shoot through. And uh, like this, this shot, I shot through the fence. I caught the action, but the, the batter on deck was in the way. Uh, 
But uh, number 13 is safe at home, as you can see in this picture. The other number 13 has not made the tag. Look, and you can see, I don't know, I, I, hopefully on YouTube, you can see all the rain coming down. My daughter actually held an umbrella for me while I was making these photographs. So thank you to her. It's another batting picture. This young man uh, got hit with this pitch, and this was the fourth game in a row that he'd been hit with a pitch. Running to first in the rain. Almost got the bat right on the ball in this one, but uh, still missed it by an inch or an inch and a half. Not even close on that one. I really like this shot uh, because you can see the young man looking at the pop fly that he's hit and there's the rain and I love these, these are brand new uniforms for my daughter's school. I, I think this, I'm, this may be the first game they wore them, uh, but these uh, Yankees style pinstripes are really cool. Every time a, a uh, left-handed batter came up, I had to run across to the other side. I like this shot because you can see all the players in the dugout and they're nicely out of focus with the f2.8 uh, at 95 millimeters one eight hundredth of a second and iso 2000 that's the same sequence i didn't crop this shot as much i actually have a a, a shot in this se sequence where you can see the ball going past him but i love this shot even though the ball is not in the frame yet because you can see his his eye contact with the pitcher like are you trying to hit me man what's up my friend percy shealy uh did some wildlife photos under an umbrella at curtain pole road in the rain i, I thought it really added a lot to the picture so I was actually pleased that it was raining for this event. That is a run scored for sure. Uh, one eight hundredth of a second. I probably could have had a little bit faster shutter speed because it only took 1800 ISO, but there's definitely motion blur in both the ball and the bat in this shot. And you can see how dark it was by, you know, the, the, this is a, a nearby hospital uh, type of place. And you can see the lights on in the parking garage. This pitcher, he just looks like an athlete. I love these photos of him pitching in, in the mud. Look at all the mud flying up and you can see the rain. And this, this, I'm going to show you this entire sequence. This is all one pitch, so this will kind of give you an idea of the of the shutter speed of the Z6. Um, now, my slow computer may not load these all uh, perfectly, but they're all sharp. So let's go. So that was all one pitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I can't remember, I can't tell if that was 14 or 15, but whatever it was, let's call it 14 just to be safe. So I'm not, and they're all sharp and pretty fast. 14 photos in one pitch. That's not bad. And this is a different pitch. Oops, got a little slow to load. There you go. I was trying to get creative here. Uh, here he is, the pitcher's in focus and the umpire and, and uh, the batter and the catcher are way out of focus. And there's another one. This one, you can see the balls coming into the strike zone here. There's another one. This is a this uh, this hospital across the street. This is brand new. They just got finished building this. And over here is the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, UTC, all right near 
my daughter's school. And if you were to go uh, walk towards the third base line and just keep on walking, you would eventually get to the Tennessee River. This shot's one of the few action shots that I was able to capture that's pretty cool. You can see number 13 running towards first. And there's the first baseman, and he is definitely going to catch that ball, and this young man's going to be out way before he gets to the bag. You know, you end up shooting a lot of frames at a baseball game because every pitch you might shoot five or six frames just in case it's the hit that you want to capture. Of course, I didn't, uh, I'm not sharing all those uh, bad photos with you where the bat wasn't even swung. Just the ones that I picked out is good. You can see the, the mud flying off of this, of this glove, even though he's hit this ball. I'm so glad, you know, a couple of situations like this, when I quickly tried to capture a photo, the camera would catch the net uh, in the foreground instead of focusing on the players. But this one, it focused on the players, and uh, he has tagged him just barely before he's reaching the plate. So he was out, but wow, what a whale of an effort that young man made to try to to try to be safe at home. Here's a piece of mud way up here flying through the air and you can see the grass on his cleat. And I believe that's the last picture. I'll flip through them all one more time. So Nikon Z6 with the 70-200 f2.8 VR2 and the FTZ adapter in the rain. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. I have lots of content coming. Uh, soccer from high school and professional soccer as well probably more baseball and at least one more tennis match as well as wildlife 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 so thanks for watching and have a great day bye bye